Now, I'm going to briefly flip over this, but this is how to prepare the house. So um, this is in your pack. Don't even worry about it. It's about what we leave and then what we uh, use as display, because the number one way of getting advertising is to have a great picture. So we will leave them a table, a chairs, a kettle, a microwave, a blind, a washing machine, a dishwasher, because I'm top end um, fridge freezers for HMO guys and an oven. But look at all the stuff that we actually use to display. And it's all very pretty, isn't it? I mean, what, what has that got to do with what size is my room? And can I sleep well in a bed? <coughs> all that. And as you know, they're pound from Ikea. Mm -hmm. Or even that, excuse me. <coughs> Those are Tesco's. Um, there's one of my flats. You know, it's all very pretty. Excuse me. <coughs> I'm going to just take a tiny tick. And then I'm giving you a furniture list again. <coughs> excuse me, I'll get rid of that, um, what we leave and then actually what we use for display because I want you guys to create those photos because once you've created the photos, you've got them for 10 years. How many people have tried to let property and seen their competitors? It's stripy mattresses all the way. I mean, they're just... just stains. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm delighted. Yeah, exactly which is why you can charge so much. I've had two conversations with two different tenants this week who are desperately trying to find property in Bristol and they're appalled at what they've got on offer for the prices. And it's because the landlords just don't reinvest at all. They don't invest in marketing, which is what I'm encouraging you to do, and they don't invest actually in the furniture and replacing things like mattresses. Um, why can't you pay for a 5.95 mattress topper from Argos? For heaven's sake, we've got wholesale quantities of them. So it's what we leave and then what we use for display. It's all terribly nice, isn't it? <laughs>